Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just wanted to share a quick video. Um, this is um, a watercolour full demo. Um, as you can see I have done the time lapse for this uh, first stage of the painting. Um, just loosely marking out my paper with um, pencil. And as you can see on the left hand side is where the photo that I'm uh, doing the painting from. It's actually quite a nice scene. Um, it's my hometown, just a few miles from where I was brought up. And this is a reservoir, of a view from the reservoir. Um, I think it's Wardle Res. And it's just, like I said, it's just a couple of miles from where I was brought up. Um, so just doing the pencil outline as loose as I can and I just wanted to do the time lapse just to uh, to speed things up a little bit um, it's not a, a long video and now I use my ink just a, an ink pen So, um, I just wanted to do something a little different for you today. Um, so I'm just filling in the details, going over the pencil, um, using my pen. Um, I think that gives a nice um, effect. Um, one other thing that um, can be quite difficult when uh, painting um, with watercolour is, um, as you can see, um, the my sketchbook is um, not tilted, so I'm using a flat surface, which can um, obviously have a negative effect. Um, the water, the pigment can start pooling um, as the water buckles. But um, um, we'll just see how we get on. So I'm just filling in um, some of the trees, the tree line um, behind these houses and the buildings. And it's a nice, nice scene, nice lots of greenery, lots of countryside. So that's um, one of the things I wanted to share with you. Um, I did find um, a box of quite a few photos that I've took, taken um, many years ago, um, just pictures, random pictures that I've collected. So um, I think my next few videos I can uh, be busy doing uh, such scenes.
as you can see here um, I just wanted to emphasize some of the buildings um, with them being more of a focal point um, they're a bit closer to the um, foreground so I wanted to just highlight some of those areas and so I'm using a thicker pen here um, I think this is uh, 0.4 or 0.5 the first one is quite a thin pen it may be 0.1 something like that and so that's a good uh, thing to do if you're doing details in pen um, you can broaden the lines um, help things to stand out a bit more so I'm just doing some trees and uh, some of the shrubbery that's in the in the foreground itself and this is um, oh this sketchbook is actually um, it's one of my Stillman and Byrne let me just have a look it's actually from the Alpha series and it's sort of an A4 sort of size which obviously doubles out so you can do um, a double spread or just use uh, one side as I'm doing here. Um, I do find them quite difficult when you get the um, the, um, the stitching the, the middle of the page um, I think you'd have to go a lot looser just to cover that area so I do tend to find that sometimes the uh, pigments or the the watercolour does sort of pool and run down the middle um, so that's why I chose this um, format so it's more of a landscape format um, so that's why you can see I've turned the uh, sketchbook to its side and uh, I just find that works a little bit better sometimes when you're doing scenes like this and here I'm just adding some of my first wash now always remember that the first wash um, you want to go as light as possible um, and I normally do start at the top of the painting and uh, gradually come down the page adding more pigment to the uh, to the scene and it gives it that depth of um, it gives it that distance and so I've just filled in some sky and then I'm gonna go in and do the distant hills which are which I use a um, fair bit of blue and light green and things mixed into the hills and that sets that back into the distance and then as you come down you can add more pigment mix more stronger colours, less water and that gives you the darker tones in the foreground As you can see, I'm not too um, bothered. Um, I'm working quite loose. Um, again, after all, it is a, just a sketchbook. And um, that's one thing that I'm uh, trying to do at the moment is um, work a bit quicker, a bit looser. Um, and not worry too much, you know, after a masterpiece. But for the sake of this demo, just to show you, um, just a simple, simple scene, really. Um, so I'm not going in, I'm not bothered too much about all the details. Um, I just wanted to get a quick um, impression of the scene. So I'm just filling in the, the paper now with my first wash. There's uh, lots of, um, it's almost beige colour as well as the greens. So I'm just adding a little bit of green to this and um and then I'll go on to 
paint in the buildings, leaving the whites that are on the buildings themselves. As you can see, as I've said before, I'm not particularly that bothered about uh, details, any fine details. Um, I think I will um, do a video um, with more details and um, how to do more, more of an advanced watercolour. But for this one, for the sake of this video, I wanted to keep things simple, as simple as possible. Um, so you can see just the basic um, of how to put a painting together um, as you can see um, from the bottom of the buildings I'm getting this problem of the water and the pigment almost pooling and, and uh, bleeding down but for this video I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be too bothered about that really um, and uh, this this hillside that I'm doing here is obviously much darker than the far distant hills and that brings the painting um, more 3d dimension and then uh, obviously from the first wash you got all those light pale colors you can just start adding depth and darkening some of those also so your lights is what you've um, left from the first wash so if you left the paper as you can see from um, some of the parts of the buildings um, that's just pure white and um, I'm just letting some of the first wash come through and that'll be my lighter colors in the hills and I'm just adding some um, darker tones to these hills that I've already done this is my second second wash and as you go on and add more washes um, it does help with the painting come together um, things really start to pop you get those nice highlights as well from parts that you miss um, letting the paper show through so this video really is um, aimed for more of a beginner stage um, you can see how simple 
I've made this scene. Just real loosely adding the colours down. And then right at the very bottom you can go quite quite dark. And um that helps the foreground become different or it more of a foreground to the background. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm just um, going over, um, pick out the parts that you want to add darker to, um, and it just gives those nice different layers, um, gives a bit more um, dimension to your painting, adds a bit more 3D. Um, as you can see, the bottom of the trees in the middle of the scene um, you got that little bit of a bleed coming through. 
but I'm not too fussed. Um, it almost uh, makes the scene look a bit um, wet, as if it's been raining, and the run sort of um, run of pigments and the bleed sometimes does um, add a nice effect to the painting overall. And I'm just um, darkening those trees going in darkening the trees on the hillside coming down and I just keep um, mopping away the bottom of those trees so that it blends into the um, to the to the grass to the fields and just a bit of work to do on these uh, trees on the foreground the very bottom and I'm uh, quickly approaching to the end. I didn't really want to take too much time. I didn't want to make a long video, but um, if you do, if you do like, then please I do appreciate a like, any comments, um, anything that you, um, any thoughts. And if you're not subscribed, then please uh, like and sub subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be posting uh, more of these sort of videos. Um, and uh, maybe do some more in depth, more advanced. But that's it. Um, I hope you like it, and I uh, hope to hear from you soon. And I will be posting again um, in the next couple of days or so. Okay, thanks for watching, and take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.